Hello, this is Pat Walker, Mission Winners, doing a video overview of the ETFs. This is daily charts. I'm going to frame it up for you. This is the 200-day moving average line, the 50-day, the 21 exponential, and the 8 exponential, and naturally price and volume. I color code my bars, and but this is from years of research. I have to share this with you. I have found that a black background with these colors gives a very high resolution, and it's uh, better on the eyes. And I had a very serious eye problem years ago, and this this helps. So anyway, here we go. We're taking a look at biotechnology. What's it tell you? And we'll fly through these now. Biotechnology is below the moving averages. Leave it alone. There's nothing to do with it. Just remember this. The air is better above the rising 50 day. It's that simple. Leave it alone. Cloud computing, lagging, nothing to do with it. Energy has is strong and has been strong. Are we heavily involved in energy? Very much so. And here's why. It's going up. Continue. Internet, dead, leave it alone. IBD 50, languishing, doing nothing. Please note when I say this, this is not a criticism of any of these indices or anything like that. It's just observing what is. And it's telling you areas to stay away from. Gold's starting to pick up a little bit. Gold miners, still below the 200 day, but some, it's starting to show some power here. Something to watch. Junior gold miners, look at this. Gold miners, let's refresh this real quick. Hold on just a second. Gold miners up on heavy volume, approaching the 200 day. Junior gold miners up, still below the 200 day. What's that tell you? In literally one second, the big gold miners are the places to focus on if you're going to focus on gold miners. Done. Gold, look at this. Look at that move. Isn't that neat? Did you know that? If you had known this, you could say maybe we should look at some gold stocks. They had a good day yesterday. There you go. Cybersecurity lagging, nothing to do with it. Biotechnology lagging, nothing to do with it. Online retail lagging, nothing to do with it. North American technology lagging, nothing to do with it. By the way, you can say, how do you know what these are? Up here in the upper left-hand corner, it gives you the ticker symbol and what it is. There you go. Hope that helps you. Medicine lagging, nothing to do with it. Mid-cap, all right? See this? Nothing to do with it. iShares mid-cap, still below the 200-day. Needs to show power. Home construction lagging, leave it alone. S&P growth. Dropped hard on Friday, lagging, below the 200-day, nothing to do with it. Small cap started to go, pulled back, all right? Showed a little bit of life, still below the moving averages, nothing going on there. Airlines lagging, nothing to do with it. Needs to get over the 200-day. Regional banking above the moving averages. Look at this. Now, it fell fairly hard on Friday, but I just ran through about 15 different ETFs. This one's showing more power than others. I'm not saying buy it. But it's an area to maybe look at regional banks. It's above the moving averages. Biotechnology, below the moving averages, nothing to do with it. Mid cap, try to get over the 200 day, right there, the purple line, reverses down. Needs to show life and get back above the 50 and the 200 day. Oil services, fairly strong and it has been. Are we involved in oil services and oil? You tell me, yes. In fact, that's about all we own is oil related stocks, energy, energy related. There we go. And it's telling you. And it has been telling you. Online retail, they're not buying. <clears throat> Infrastructure, they're not building. Software, they're not using it right now. They are, but you know what I'm saying. I'm just being kind of cute here. Inverse ETF, QID, needs to get over the 200 day. This is the inverse. This is important. This goes up when the index goes down. It's the inverse. Take note of that. QLD, look at that. Ugh, that's no good. This is the NASDAQ 100. QLD. These are the big, most innovative companies basically in the whole world. All right. What's in there? Oh, you've got stocks like Amazon, Apple, Microsoft, Google. Names. Big names. They're lagging at this point in time. Same with QLQ. QQQ. Leave it alone. Retailing. Lagging. Leave it alone. Cloud computing. Below the 200 day. Leave it alone. That should be your benchmark every time. Is above or below the 200 day? That's the purple line. Below, leave it alone. Although it did show, hang on a second, showed a little bit of life here. Okay, remember what other metal showed some life? Ready? Gold, gold, silver, there you go. Which one's stronger though? Gold. Now you have more knowledge than a lot of people. 
Steel, metals, ran up, pulled back, possibly. Semiconductors, bad. Semiconductors, bad. S&P 500, nothing. It's below the 200-day. SSO, nothing. Leave it alone. We, by the way, we owned this on that higher low setup. We made money on this. We owned this here. We sold into strength. We made some money on it, and it's good we sold. Solar, nothing. Small cap, nothing. Uranium, nothing. Oil, U.S. oil, strong. What does that say? Did we just look at some other energy ETFs that are doing well? You see how you connect the dots? Yes, are we involved with energy? Heavy in energy, predominantly energy right now. You can see why. Aerospace, defense, nothing. Home builders, they're not building. Materials, if you're not building things, you don't need materials. Energy, look at this. It has, it has been strong and it is strong. Why we're involved in energy stocks. Financials, showing a little bit of life. Okay, a little bit of life, not bad. Something to maybe take a look at. Industrials, lagging, nothing to do with it. XLK, technology dropped hard on Friday, both back below the 200 day. Technology tells you to be careful. You combine that with QLD and SSO and you see what I'm saying. Consumer stables hanging in, but starting to lose a little more of leadership. It loses the 50 day. It needs to stay above the 50 day. You can click on XLP and find out what they own. That could help you. Utilities, nothing. Consumer discretionary, nothing. By the way, this is very important. Discretionary. Items consumers buy, but they don't have to own them. And it's lagging. What's that say? The consumer has been cautious and is cautious. All right. Metals and mining. Hanging in there. Metals. Oil. Energy. See how you can build that theme really quick? And then eat retail's dead. Nothing going on with it. Software's dead. There's nothing going on with it. And we're back to the top. And the max list stocks. There's Apple. This was a great buy right here. You see this? Buy here and buy here. Do you see that trend? We made we owned this and we made money. Now look at it do this. What's going on here? It's chopping around. There's nothing good with it now at this point in time. We just leave it alone. That's simple. Continue onwards. Amazon. It's still below the falling 50 day. It's below the falling 200 day. It needs to show some power. There's no power yet. That can change. That can change and we're always ready. This is one of the things that's very important. We always have to stay focused on the markets. We don't have any preconceived notions. This is, we have to be cautious here, all right? But you've got to be ready because things can turn. And I'm going to show you the classic case on that in just a minute. Baba, nothing. Baidu, up to the 200, falling, nothing. Facebook or Meta, nothing. Nothing. I mean, leave it alone. There's another very valuable lesson for all of you. Please, this is for everybody. Please, I'm asking you, be careful buying or owning a stock just before earnings. Please. You can say it could gap up. It only takes a couple of these to destroy you financially and destroy you psychologically. Uh, I've done a lot of research on this. A huge part of this game, in fact, the biggest part of this game is not what's before our eyes. It's what's between our ears. All right? Got to control that. And the way we do that is good risk control and good rules. So things we teach. Google, this was earnings. Look at that big gap up. There's a great lesson for everybody here. And this is what we teach all the time at Mission Winners. Be careful buying big gap ups. There were people that bought this up here. Right where it opened, we'll call it at 3020. They bought it at 3020. Okay. And here it is trading right now at 2690. Folks, 300 plus points gone? No, don't do that to yourself. I never buy a big gap up. I always wait at least 10 minutes to 30 minutes. That really helps. There you go. Watch. If you'd done that there, you never would have owned it. Goldman Sachs, lagging, nothing to do with it. MasterCard started to lift, is earnings related, lift, and it's given back. But note this, it did show some real power here, and it is above the moving averages. Something to maybe watch. But remember, the M in mission winners, the markets. Market sloppy, be careful. Microsoft, there's nothing happening here. You just have to leave it alone. It's down to the 200-day. Maybe it'll bounce, but for at this point in time, there's nothing. Microsoft, 
Here's the other side of that coin. We bought this right here. A couple of buys. That's a good run. That's why we are always prepared. But at this point in time, there's nothing there. Netflix, nothing. Dead. You say, oh, Netflix has always been a dog. Really? Really? Right here, buys. And that run. No, we're always prepared. No bias. Price and volume will tell us what to do. Right now it's saying, stay away. Square is dead. Square, there's a strong possibility this will come off the max list. They've lost their niche. They're not as relevant as they used to be. I'm not criticizing the management. I'm not criticizing the company. No, we don't get wrapped up in the good. It just... It's underperforming and it has been for a while. It's not the player that it was. At one time though, you can say, was it good? Oh, it was great. Well, I won't go all the way back in here, but yeah, it was great. We made great money on the stock. NVIDIA, nothing. Lifted here. People bought this. See the volume pickup? And it rallied up. And what did it rally up towards? This is a great lesson for everybody. It rallied up to the declining 50 day. Had a higher low setup. This low is higher than this low. This low is higher than this low. Okay. Lifted on volume, runs up, the market sloppy, sold into strength, took the gains. It was very small, but we made money on it. We made money on it and we managed it properly given price and volume action on the stock and given price and volume action on the markets. Took the money, took the gain, we're out. Flat. There you go. Tesla. There's nothing happening here. It has a little shelf right here, you can see. It needs to take out that shelf and it needs to do it on volume. Here's the plus. It's above the rising 200 day. Here's the minus. It's below the falling 50 day. So it needs to show some real power. We've got to wait and see what happens. Twitter, there's nothing here, folks. Nothing. Visa, similar to MasterCard, lifts up and pulls all the way back. Just not a lot of power at this point in time. So what do we do? We leave it alone. Thank you for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit like. Maybe hit that subscribe button. We come up with new content nearly every day. Also, check out the videos on the right. YouTube recommends the one on the top, and the bottom one is something we thought you might enjoy. See you next time.